we're told that f of x is equal to 2x times the square root of 5 minus 4. And we're also told that g of x is equal to x squared plus 2x times the square root of 5 minus 1. And they want us to find g minus f of x. So pause this video and see if you can work through that on your own. So the key here is to just realize what this notation means. g minus f of x is the same thing as g of x minus f of x. And so again, if this was helpful to you, once again, I encourage you to pause the video. All right, now let's work through this again. So this is going, or I guess the first time, but now that we know that this is equal to g of x minus f of x. So what is g of x? Well, that's the same thing as x squared plus 2x times the square root of 5 minus 1. And what is f of x? Well, it's going to be 2x times the square root of 5 minus 4. And we are subtracting f of x from g of x. So let's subtract, this is f of x from g of x. And so now it's just going to be a little bit of algebraic simplification. So this is going to be equal to, this is equal to x squared plus 2x times the square root of 5 minus 1. And now we just have to distribute this negative sign. So negative 1 times 2x times the square root of 5 is, we're going to have minus 2x times the square root of 5. And then the negative of negative 4 is positive 4. And let's see if we can simplify this sum. So this is going to be equal to, we only have one x squared term. So that's that one there. So we have x squared. And let's say we have 2x times the square root of 5. And then we have another, oh, and then we subtract 2x times the square root of 5. So these two cancel out each with each other. So those cancel out. And then we have minus 1 plus 4. So if we have negative 1, and then we add 4 to it, we're going to have positive 3. So if we just fact, if we take this and this into consideration, 4 minus 1 is going to be equal to 3, and we're done. That's what g minus f of x is equal to, x squared plus 3.